Hey guys, and welcome back to episode number 34 of Mafia. Apparently they're trying to do a hit on me while I'm in here. I think that's what's happening right now. Go interrogate that guy. Right there. Is he in this room? Where is he? Is he outside? I guess it's outside. I don't know what's going on right now. I have no idea. We'll head outside and um, see what's going on. But this is all um, Vio's crew, I believe. So hopefully they can help me out a little bit. Maybe. Are they outside? How many are there? Why do you so f Come for me then. If you want to kill me, come and interrogate me. Come and take me out. How many enemies are there though? Look at, look at the amount of guys we have though. It's like one guy by himself. What is going on? Time for him. Hello. Give me your information. You bastard. Duval, where is he? <laughs> Go on, man. He's putting together a hunting party with the Union boys. <laughs> For your ass. Up near the old lookout point. Tonight. <laughs> Guess they'll have to start well, without thanks you. for the info. Ah, the police might have seen that. Oh, I have to call it off then, won't I? Uh, yeah, call it off, why not? We got anyone who can call off the cops in Frisco Fields. Right Thank you very much. And that's fine, actually. Right. Um, oh, there it is, up in there. Sweet, let's go. <clears throat> My voice is particularly bad, by the way, today. I, I don't know why. It's recovering very, very slowly. I need a vehicle. A very I'm fast vehicle. And need some new wheels. Very, very Just fast. Right, well, guys, we are quite close. We are very, very close to this rally. I imagine it's just a whole bunch of Southern Union KKK members just lined up. Whoa, what happened there? Oh, we're skipping time? It scared me then. What was that? Right, they're up here, apparently. Alright, let's head in. Let's go. Ignore the car. I've got a marker. I don't know why I got a marker for. I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> I've just arrived. Where's this rally? I think there's some guys up here by this fence. Yeah, this feels like a weird place already. I'm going to be honest. It feels very, very weird. Oh, look. There's two members right there. You guys are about to get absolutely pwned. See how they came waltzing in, dicked out in their fancy white robes? My daddy used to say the only thing worse than a nigga is a rich white man putting on airs. Ain't that the goddamn truth? Those assholes who come on out for Mr. Duvall's speech <laughs> might even hoot and holler and wave their arms around, but me and you both know when it's time for us to get our hands dirty, time for us to collect ourselves some nigga scalps, Anyone wearing one of them fucking robes, they vanish real quick. Someday I wouldn't mind doing to them what we're planning on doing to those niggas. Okay, you guys are just weird. You're just plain utter weird. You're racist little thugs. So that guy's going over there. Let's call this guy over. What? What? what did, I, did I just hear something? Am I stupid? Oh, I'm definitely stupid. You freaking prick. Enjoy killing all these guys. So these guys are in proper, like, full, full robes. Oh, get that. Come on, Lincoln. That, that's a racist fuck. Stab him a few times. <laughs> right, sorry. I'm getting far too into this. Oh, you are kidding me right now. We stand here in the ruins. There's loads of them. Century. Absolutely tons. Where my great, great, great grandfather what joined the hell? his brothers. In the defense of Louisiana, scary. against the guy up there. Oh. Oh no, did that guy just now, fall over? In this spot to oh, separate, the that's good. Even when it gets hard, I swear this game separates all the enemies. Gave his life it's, it's to quiet. The liberty of his did this guy die without being seen? Let's find out. No, you saw nothing. Okay, burn all of them all! Throw grenades! That's what I come around the corner. I'm having that. Bitch! I tried to kill as many as I could. What's that guy doing? Prick. Wait, how do you go over that? That's pissing me off now. Come back here, little prick. Yes! Stomp his face! 
This rally has been absolutely destroyed. Oh, here he comes. Need to grab some cover. Hello. Oh, he's dead. Oh, how unfortunate. You prick. I'll take point. Goodbye. Yeah. Nolan oh, North. <laughs> he has died. A horrible, horrible death. He's done some really bad characters, like bad, bad guys in games, like Last of Us. And now this. That might be it. I've got to confront him now as well. He's not actually fully dead. He can't really run with this gun because it's so heavy. Let's finish this guy off then. Remy Duval. And there he is. What now, nigga? What now? Oh. Heavy you way. Do. What? Did he just do that? Terrific scene here in Frisco Fields as one of the city's most prominent citizens, Remy Duval, was savagely murdered. Witnesses report he was bound to a cross and set on fire. Let's see if we can get a statement from the police. Chief Wilson, you care to make a comment? It's those goddamn niggles. Every last one of them needs to be rounded up and shot. That's quite a statement, Chief. Need to wipe the shit out of your eyes, son. Take a look around. There's a goddamn war going on. Did he just say that? A police officer just said that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The next story. The next one is kill Olivia Meccano. Oh, that sounds easy. Not. Okay. So where's that? So we got... Uh, go and meet Donovan now, actually. Yeah, and kill Olivia Meccano. This is going to be um, interesting. Uh, I've got pretty much... I'm pretty much ready to go, really. So let's just, just get on with it. Let's go. This is Meccano's place. Isn't it? Beneath him. This is Makano's place. We've been here before at the beginning of the game. What are we doing here? Like how Donovan is like not hidden at all. Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. Have a listen. Not for nothing. Olivia Marcano's a real piece of work. Okay, I'm listening. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, uh, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. 
I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. No, I need my weapons! I need my grenades. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. So we're just gonna walk in there. There's Lincoln Clay. What? You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense of giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> if they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Fucking Donovan. <laughs> Thank you for that. He does look pretty smart though. Hey, he's his bow tie. You see everybody else got here on time. Jim Crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's their job. Had me out there. Fucking asked me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform. Or get out of my god dang kitchen, Claudia. I'm here to work. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She's gonna say some words for old Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You ain't been. P Get them folks their drinks now. Right, give me a second. Dose the bottles. Stabby stab. It's quite a type blazer. Ooh, sneaky sneaky. Is that it? We're done? Do we do another one? I can't see any mini any sort of enemies nearby, so I think we're fine. I think. <laughs> and the last one. Man, they're gonna get off their heads with this drink. Woo! Polly! <laughs> or to go to sleep, I don't know. That took quite a while. Serve the manager. Ah, stop right there. Hold on. Are you testing it? Oh. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Is he alright? <laughs> All right, let's go and serve drink them then. Drink up, motherfuckers. Drinky, drinky. Who wants a drink? So do they have a suspect? Now this guy wants a drink. Old right, serve him up. Set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle Enjoy some it. of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the colors. Get colours. pissed, my friend. Fucking apes was never too smart. Think calling for the, uh, the speech. You don't watch them. They get vicious. Really Anyone want a drink? I saw this lady, she looks like she wants one. Give me a strong drink. My life shit. I need a drink. Want a drink, my friends? I'd like to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city, no, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that, 
Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city, by preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. To Remy. To Remy. Bodyguards, would you like a drink? Um, do they want a drink? Guys, do you want a drink? I'm trying to. On the table when I get home. Is that really so much to ask? Them more relaxed now. Sure thing. We find the shine who killed oh, this skunk yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, he was dead. Oh, do you want a drink? Yeah, he does. What? Take a drink. Oh, he's probably one of the Enjoy. Oh, where did that, that glass come from? Absolute magic. Right, so there's a guy has gone up awesome over there. Because it's just time blending, don't I? Right, so if we go round to the left. Olivia's bodyguards are going to go off, off their nut. It's a nude man! With a, a fish? You want a drink? Bring that bottle over here. I hear there's some money. Maybe. Enjoy. Spill it. What do you know? Well, it's one more guard, and I think that's it. Well, let's just see. There was a lot more to the Duval fortune. When oh, Olivia, dead. you will get destroyed. It's been quite a productive episode, though. Two let's big, big killings in one episode. Productive. Very, very productive. Well, if it works, so. I mean, every last goddamn dime is yeah, gone. The bottle. Jesus. What am I going to tell the other brothers? Enjoy it. We'll remind them to maintain drink, drink. my pride, brother. My condolences. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Take a smoke break. Oh my God. Sounds like a plan She's to me. Gorgeous as all get out. Uh, that, that was no work at all. Time. Lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Whatever you say. Does this thing can even smoke? Look at the Oh look at him! Look at his hands. You alright? Oh man, dingo nigga. Yeah, he's off his nut. Absolutely off his nut. There's a guy. Is there a guard over there? Hmm. How to walk so slow? No. It's far too slow. See he cooked the food up. Look at that guy, he's already smoking. Fuck it. <laughs> Why not? There's smoke onto the food. You, you, you guys all right? Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. Oh, thank you. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Can we go yet? That's quick. You sure we done? Follow Olivia. I will. Men on the moon? I could give a shit. So why do we take a, a break for then? Mm. I guess it skips time. So now the guards are all, like, all loopy. All drugged up. Look at that wine in the back. Those fridges. I'd think twice before going out there. What? Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. Something very I don't bad. Care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Been a cut that crap. What was I saying now? What is going on? I just. <laughs> Oh man. What is happening it's here? All connected. You see? We wow. The whole party has gone off. Can't I dance? Look at him. Took his shirt off. See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> wow. Goddamn Donovan. Yes. Look. I see, I see Remy. There's Olivia. Something is wrong. Oh. Get me out of here I now. Yes, ma'am. 
He's I want additional me. men placed on the front door and around oh. back. No one's allowed in or out without my safety. Oh, she's not Did I say something to the guests. Such as? You saw them. They've all come down with some kind of <laughs> affliction. <laughs> That's definitely what it is. There's a guard in here, but I think he's out. Out for the count. Is he alright? What are you doing? Oh, oh my sh I'm cut sorry. himself. I'm Whoa, so okay, okay, let's move on from that. I wanna see that. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Thank you very much. Do we have a gun? Put, it Put on down the what? The, the wine bottle, okay. Yet. No man. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for Hello. Me to take Hello. Oh, oh, Guess who's here? She shoots as well. I saw the gun there. I was like, I guess we pick this up. Oh, no life. And I think there's one guy left. Yes. Subdue Olivia. Oh, really? Oh, no, I run out bullets. Shit. Oh, man. Whoa. Confront Olivia. I will. There she is. Well, she sees blood. I never thought. You get shot. Precisely. first time I saw Lucio, he looked so handsome, dashing, even. He wore the finest suits, drove the best cars. There was always something terribly romantic about all of this. Ain't nothing romantic. About robbing and killing people. Well, maybe not. But it certainly was exciting. <gasps> Where's De Garmo? Garmo. <gasps> Have me out in a building down by the wall. Thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. All right, I guess we're going to leave leave them. <laughs> right, so I could do some armor and some health, which apparently is actually in here, I believe. Yes, give me the armor. I think there's some guns back there actually as well. Health, lovely. Oh, look, sharp, good there. Uh, you had nothing. There's a weapon in here. I did see some, some ammo and some guns there. What gun do I want? Hmm. Some bullets for my pistol. Right, let's head out, let's go. There's a guy here. A guard. Hello! Twat. Oh. I guess they probably heard that. That's a deaf. Are you deaf, my friend? It's pretty interesting because I don't really have grenades. I don't have a stealthy weapon. I still have my knife, which is good. And useful. For sure. This guy's so dead. Hello! Oh, against the wall. You little shit. Let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. This has been one productive episode. I think she might live, though. Olivia might live. What the hell? What the hell's going on now? Nah. I ain't asking you a second time, boy. You the sign over that land? Hmm? I swear to Christ. I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not. 
Not signing a damn thing! Wow. Oh. <laughs> He's brave, I'll give him that. I'll probably sign it straight away. I'll be like, yep, do it. Well, I don't care. Thank you, Lance. That worked. <laughs> Good old blind firing. There's so many guys that want to kill me right now. They are not impressed. These guys are not drunk. Or drugged up. Dead motherfucker. There's a guy to the right. Oh, those headshots, though. I'm bossing it right now. Let's go. No, don't. I am very tough. Sort of. I don't have. I got one. I got. I got one health. Okay, let's heal myself up. I I lost my armor. I'm not fucking ready. Move, move, move. move. The fuck? Get him! No, don't get him. Definitely don't get him. This guy's making a move on the right, keeping an eye out, but I can't see where he's gone now. Hmm. Oh man! <laughs> Popped out. Bang! 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 The loser. Oops, so like that. Own, boys. Oh, that headshot though. Where is he? Come back here, you little prick. The fuck? Hello. <laughs> Brutal takedown. Oh, through the chest. I think some backups arrived. Wonderful. Get that stupid son of a bitch. He's dead? Yeah, he's dead. Grab and cover. What was Marcano? Because isn't this like his place? Definitely some guys around here. Oh, those headshots! Hello. Start praying. Dead. Absolutely dead. I've I'm going to save my friend. I'm going to save you. It's all good. Don't worry. I did see some medical supplies right here. Is a collectible in here? I'll take it. <laughs> Sexy sort of not. <laughs> Let's free this guy. Gamo, I'm gonna get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Check the other side. Yeah. I brought his car, nice. Oh god. Let's go, let's go. He's dead. Who's dead? My hand is ruined. I barely even knew Remy. Is that a painting right there? Oh no! <laughs> Code Lose the cops. Oh the shit. Vehicle. Responding unit investigated. Oh man, why are there so many here. cops? Just let me out here. One of these cops can help. Let's get out of it. Can I, can I call the cops off? Probably not. I'll try. Need to lose the blue one. Don't hit the field. That's a bad one. Oh, oh, um, hilarious. Where was I? That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out. How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand. Shit. I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. So I guess we're gonna go to um, Barbara James again. They've got another one. Uh, I have lost a tire, I believe. Yeah, in that sh very short little police chase, I lost a, a tire. Oh, no, it's not Barbara James. It must be someone else. You're gonna kill us before they do. No, We're gonna die fine. right oh, here on this road. Donovan's gonna help us out. All right, fair enough. What happened to Stephen DeGarmo? Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? Like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Ah! Ah! 
Are what? you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Lincoln once told me he couldn't tell him the other cheek that the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. When I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson, another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. Olivia Mocano has been killed. I don't know who killed her though. No stolen lad. Is this goddamn city finally ours? There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. I heard from my boys before I came over here and they locked down this turf without any trouble. We're good whichever direction you go here, but we're even better if you make it official and let me call the shots there. I agreed to help you with our Marcano problem, believing our goals were aligned. But so far, I'm not seeing any of that. It's time for you to step up. Set things right, brother. Shit, son. I could have secured those rockets as well as anyone. Probably better. You chose me to run the day-to-day -day for the last piece of the city. And I expect to be running it here as well. You got no idea how long I've been dreaming of this moment, Lincoln. This... This is the real shit. Hmm. I'm just gonna... It's I'm gonna stick with Vito again. Line, uh, Cassandra might be a little Lincoln. bit pissed off. She might be a little bit pissed off. So, if I pick Vito, that'd be four, We've three, together, and Lincoln. two. Get so, it. it's Too fairly evenish. But I'm worried Cassandra might go off on one. I, I don't know. She might do. I'm picking Vito. I'm doing it. He's my man. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. Thanks, kid. Spent most of my life getting fucked by one asshole Trust. or another. And what we got going here is a real future. Ain't no one fucking with us anytime soon. Kinda thought I'd be gay to shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. Fuck. Fuck. You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. Holy Christ! How the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for a certain Scarlet I'd have his throat slit by now. You did a bang up job here, lad. A goddamn dream come true. Can't wait to see where we go from here. I, I have wait figured Lincoln will have killed us all by now. What we done here? Taking the city away from Marcana and doing it without killing each other? We gotta be proud of that. Not everything went the way I would have liked it to go, but I'm proud of what I have and what we starting here. 
We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. So, we've got all the underbosses, and they're all happy, pretty much. So next up, we've got to discuss the whereabouts of Sal Marcano with Donovan. Oh, yes. Finally, the last guy in the puzzle is about to be found and killed. Cannot wait. That'll be in the last episode, though, I guess. The next episode will be probably the last one. I might do some side stuff with Vito, and... I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.